Hey guys, I am back and I am back with a video that I've never tried to do before. Um, it's going to be a how to draw video. So a little backstory here, I went to see Zootopia last week with my best friend Sabrina and the movie was just so adorable, it was so funny, I loved it so much. So the day after that, like the very next day, I drew this little guy. One of my favorite characters that weren't the main characters. These little guys were just walking all over the place in their little lines. And they were so adorable. And I had to draw them. So, unfortunately, I didn't do a video of this. But, um, I just thought I'd show that to you guys since this is about Zootopia. So this video, I'm going to show you how to draw Nick Wilde from Zootopia. And this isn't a picture I drew. I printed this from the internet so I can have a reference. Um, yeah, so I can have a reference and I make sure I get everything right. But I'll be trying to simplify it for you all and hopefully you can draw the same picture. So, here goes nothing. So first, you get a piece of paper and then you get a pencil. Good so far? Haven't lost you? Okay, good. Okay, so for real this time, um, I would suggest starting with the head, because that's what I usually do, and just drawing a circle for your head. Um, Nick has, of course, a tail, and so you're going to need to leave room for that. So I put, this is about the middle of the paper right here, so I put the head just a bit to the right of that. So just draw kind of an oval, slanted oval for the head, okay, and I hope I didn't make that too big, nope, looks good, okay, so just about that size, um, if you want, actually, yeah, let's plan out the rest of the body, so draw a straight line, like I said, about just a little bit to the right of the center of the paper, and this just kind of stands for his body. And so, here's the head, here is the snout, just draw a tinier oval on the bottom right of the head, and then let's draw another little circle, actually let's draw two lines, do a line right here, about this far into the oval from the left side, and right in the center of the other little oval. So that just gives us a basic structure for his head and neck. And then this is where his shoulders will go. Just draw a little circle right below the first line you drew. And another little circle a little bit to the right of the second line you drew. Okay. And then, so these are his shoulders, his neck, his head. Um, okay, now draw a slanted line from the first circle to about this line right below that circle you drew. And draw another little circle at that end and this will represent his elbow. Then from the second circle, <laughs> there are so many circles, from this circle right here that you drew, draw another slanted line that's about parallel to this slanted line and stop when you're just a little bit further below this line and then draw another little circle down there and that's his other elbow okay and so he's crossing his arms in the reference I chose so draw a little X right here between the two bottom circles between the two elbows just an X like that okay and then from the end of this circle right here, just kind of keep track of where your line is and track it all the way down to below his arms and then draw a line right there. Just a really light line, don't make these hard because this is just the basic structure. And then from this edge of the head, you can either draw a, a line like this or kind of just follow a line and then put an actual line right here. Alright, um, so here's his elbow, 
here is the end of his torso because he has a really long torso this is about where his shirt ends his legs begin here and right here see where his neck is over up here just follow that line and continue to draw it in right here okay so this line over here is a bit curved because it's not just you know he isn't just a straight line he has his shoulder right here and then his back kind of curves in about on line where his elbow is so just a little dip right there and then slowly curve it back out along this line and we can stop there for now then go to the other side and this line um, this side of his torso is a bit curved in so find this curve it's right here then curve this side in just a little bit lower than that other side is and we can stop right there because that's where the end of his shirt is and just to make things a bit easier so we can see what the shirt actually looks like this line that I had you draw that's about lined up with this part of his neck is where um, the what is this called <laughs> is where the corner of his shirt tail is so like that draw a little angle right here I, I feel like I'm in math class right now and then just carry it on up to this line over here and same thing on the other side except actually this one goes to about right here. If you still have your lines on the page, this is the first guideline that we did for his body. So that's a good place to um, put it towards. And then from there, just move it to the outside of his body. And that's the bottom of his shirt. And so now we do his legs. His crotch is about on this line as well because he's standing at an angle. So it starts about right here and his leg goes out at kind of a slanted line. So first you can draw just a plain slanted line if you would like. And that's his first leg, and this is his second leg, and it goes like this. Just a little curved line like that. And so, of course, as I said, there are, no sh there are really no straight lines on this guy. So you have to just curve this a little bit. This is where his knee is. So draw a little circle for his knee there, curve it in a little bit towards his knee, and then down, and he has a very small leg because he's a fox. So you can also pick this cur curved line back up and bring it in toward his knee as well, and then just do a little bit extra down there. Okay, and then for this leg, you kind of did this curved line already, I'd bring it down a little bit more so that his knee is right here. Again, he's standing not straight, but he's aiming, he's um, turning this way a little bit, so his knee is out. And so you take this side from the bottom of his shirt down here, meeting his knee, and then go in a little bit. And make it about as long as this one. This one should be a little bit longer it's in front so there's that leg and then there's this one right here and as you're going along you may realize that you've gotten some lines a bit off so you can just fix those see see this one I got it a little bit too far in because his leg is just too skinny right here so I'm gonna move it out a bit and right there it looks about right and so bring it in towards his knee again, and then just a bit further down than that. So there are his basic, the basic form of his legs. And now his feet at the bottom, just for this one, start doing a curved line right at the edge of his leg. Put the middle of the curved line about where the other edge of his leg is, and then finish it right here. And then just do a little flat line on the bottom. And on this leg, since he's standing at an angle, his um, 
this leg is straight and this leg is out and it's um it, you have more of a side angle for this leg that's the term i'm looking for so this foot will be longer will appear longer because he's standing at a side angle with this foot so draw a straight line about this long you can also measure it up with this elbow up here and it's about it stops at about the same place this elbow stops so about right here and follow the pant leg put the end of the foot here and then you can if you would like you can just do a little block and we can fill that in later okay and then now finally his tail it comes out just about this far below is his shirt line so you can draw a squiggly line like that and then another squiggly line below it kind of like that with the tail you don't have to be so specific because it's a tail I mean <laughs> it can take many different shapes so there's his tail if you'd like you can close it off right here and also his ears that's the last thing that I forgot his front ear comes out pretty big and it goes a little bit past the midline so it goes right here and stops about right there I'm running out of paper here so it has to stop right there for me and then um, a slanted line comes aiming towards the middle of his face and you've seen these reference lines before I'm gonna do it again when you're drawing a face it's easier to put a line down the center and a line where the eyes are going to be and this is about where his face is aiming towards his eyes are right here the center of his face is right here so aim that line on the ear towards the center of his face. And then the other ear over here is smaller since his head is in, at an angle. And it starts a little bit past the center of his face. So about right here. Draw another little slanted line. And then curve it at the top. And bring it back to his head like that. So before we continue filling in the piece, now it's time for a few touch-ups. Um, I'm looking back at this piece and it looks like this side of the shirt needs to stick out a little bit more to meet his leg like right here so just let me do that real quick there we go and let's add a few more guidelines his hand for this arm comes is he's crossing his arm so it comes out about right here and this one is tucked inside so it looks kind of like that and you can just bring that over here because this is the hand, this is the arm that's on top. And I'm just gonna erase that to avoid confusion. So there's that. And then his shirt has a collar up here. So it's just basically a long rectang rectangle. Draw a line right here to about right here, stopping where the edge of that circle is and just continue to make a rectangle. There's a it's a little bit curved at the bottom, so slightly curve it in, not too much, just slightly, like that. And the other part of his shirt is like the top of a triangle. It goes like this, just a little bit in from the neck, and here's the top of the triangle, and then it comes back down. And actually you can just fill in that triangle right there, because there will be a shadow right here, so that'll make sense later. And then he's wearing a tie, and the tie is really long for him. It ends about almost to where his shirt ends. I'd say about right here. And there's a little kind of disfigured oval, disfigured rectangle at the top, kind of about this shape. And then, and of course, if you draw a shape that looks different from this, it's not the end of the world. It's okay. Um, and then from that, there's a little curved line right here. And on this side, you can see the tie taking shape. And just continue that line down here. And it's not going to be exactly straight because ties are bigger at the bottom than they are at the top. So it comes out a little bit. Bring that down there and bring this one 
follow the line, bring this one down here. So they stop the two lines stop right there and then bring them into a point right here. And there's his tie. I'm going to erase this line that I messed up on just real quick. Now I'm going to start filling in the face a bit. On this guideline you did for the eyes, his eyes are not wide open. He has them slightly shut. So draw a line about right here on the line for the top of his eye. And then on the other side, draw a line about right here. And those are the top of his eyes. And then just do a little curve line underneath both of those lines. Here's one. And here's the other one. Okay, and so he doesn't look angry. Draw his eyelids up here, just slightly. Um, there's one. Don't don't you don't need to touch them at the top. You can if you want to. And here's the other one, like that. And the other side of this eyelid is actually um, actually comes along with the snout. So you see this middle line right here, the snout edge is about right here. It is right beside the eye. And it curves right here. So there's the edge of the snout. And then the nose follows this line and comes to right about here. So draw a little oval right here. All right, and you can see his face, his fox face is kind of starting to take shape. On this side of his face, it's not a perfect oval. It comes down from, let's see, let's draw the top here, just a little bit defining it more. It looks like it has the shape of the oval to about right here, and then this line kind of drops to the eye, and then curves back out and forms a really soft triangle edge. And then see, it comes back down. So it's like, not really a triangle, just a curved line. And then over here, again, it comes out a bit more to right here. Just make it more of a, a more sharp curve line. Then bring it back to the face. And from here, it doesn't continue to the face. Instead, it actually curves down and becomes the neck. Like that. And then on this side, he looks kind of a bit freaky now. <laughs> so let's fix that really quick. This line, this edge of his neck comes up to about right here. Just a little curved line. And this is, let's continue his snout. Like that and his mouth starts about right here it has a little dip he isn't completely smiling that would, that would look freaky and so there's a little dip right there and then it kind of curves that way and then comes back and curves this way a really long curve to meet the other part of his snout like that Actually, I think it comes up a bit further, so if you don't mind, I'm just going to erase this real quick. And if it's okay if you erase the guidance lines, because that was just to help place things. So it comes up to about right here, and curves down to meet his snout over here. Okay, gives him kind of a more smug, sarcastic look the way they did that. Like that. Okay, and so you can, you can change this line to make it go a bit further up to meet this knot up here. 
So there's that part of the head. And he has little eyebrows up here that are just below the edge of the top of the head. Just below the top of the head. This one starts about right here and then meets up with the edge of the head and follows that down to about right there. And then this one over here is in line with this first eyebrow. Right about here. And then just goes right over the eye like this. And then you can fill that in a little bit if you'd like. And then let's draw his pupils. He's looking this way. He's looking right at us. So they're not going to be over here. They're not going to be looking out the side right here. They're going to be looking at us. So not, not right in the center. Just a little bit to the left of the center of the eye. Like this. Just half of a circle right underneath his eyelid. And this one over here, you don't even see the other edge of the eye. You just see this curve right here. Again, it's not directly in the center. It's a little bit to the side. So now he's actually looking at us. Um, so let's see, what is next? Let's work on, let's just go down. So let's work on his arms now. I'm going to just fill that in a little bit more. Okay, now you can just follow the guidelines that you made with this arm over here. His elbow is going to stick out a little bit because he has skinny arms, so he's a little bit bony. So it just sticks out like that. And then the edge of it is, see that elbow bone right there? Just sticking out. And then it comes. So it looks like I put, I made his arms stop a little bit too soon. So we're just going to, as we go over them, we're just going to bring it down a little bit. So it comes right here. Just follow this line, but a little bit beneath it like this. So there's one, and here's the other one. He comes down from a, a smooth line from his collar, but it just curves a little bit. So we'll erase that. And comes down to right here. And his shirt, on this side, the sleeve of his shirt actually comes out a bit further down below than his arm does. So, this will be his shirt right here. You can draw a little, just start a little curved line right there if you'd like, and then continue his arm. Still, his arm is further down than the, the original guidelines we made. And bring it down to about here. Make sure that it's below this, this second arm over here. So here's the line. So make it sure that it's below that. And it comes to a curvy point. <laughs> Not, ex not a sharp point like that, but just a little curve down there. And then comes back up, and you can rejoin the original line we drew. So erase these parts right here so as not to confuse yourself. Oh, okay. This is the original guideline we drew up there. We're just going to bring that down a little bit. Like that. And then you can erase that guideline right there. Since this is the first time I'm doing stuff like this, I'm doing an actual step-by-step -step of how to draw a character. It's a little rough, but I'm hoping you guys can follow this and it'll get better from here. So back to the drawing. We we left his sleeve off right here. Um, draw a little line under here to show that his sleeve goes all the way around. And then continue this line on top of it. Bring it right to the corner of his right to the back side of his elbow and that's the edge of his sleeve over there and let's draw this sleeve right here first we need to continue this top part of the arm just a little bit more right there and make this sleeve right above that then I'm gonna bring this sleeve down a little bit more because his the, the sleeves on his shirt are really long on him so they come down almost to his elbows There we go. Maybe I can try to put a picture of the reference I'm using every now and then in my video so you guys can see where I'm coming from. But then again, maybe not because you can see where I messed up. 
<laughs> no, I'll probably end up doing that because that'll make it a little easier on you guys. Okay, so let's draw this hand over here. We drew a little guideline for it. He has three fingers showing. So there's one finger, there's the other finger, and there's a third finger. Just in a little triangle shape right there. Those are the edges of his fingers, so don't make those too dark. And so bring them down into his arm over here. Just curve that down and the top of it curve down. Not quite, not, don't curve this part quite to the edge of his arm. Do it like this. His knuckle is about right here and then you can bring it down. So this side, about, about, about the same thing. I'm stumbling over my words here. Just curve around it. Bring it to about right here and just kind of slowly make your way to curve that down to the other finger like that and then this one same thing go around it find his knuckle and then bring that down and this is going to be this part when we're done is going to be a little bit shaded so it won't stick out as much, it won't look as awkward. So that'll fix that. Um, yeah, I can come back to that. Okay, and we already drew this part of his body. I'm just gonna outline that a little bit more. To his shirt tail. And then it comes right here and goes up. Like this. Already drew his tie, and his tie has little diagonal lines going on up it. So here we can draw those real quick. Mine are coming out a bit uneven, but if you get them even enough to where it looks okay when you look at it, then that should be fine. Okay. And then his pants. Just make a little line in the middle right here. Just darken that in a little bit. And then curve out just a bit right there. Okay. And then you can darken this line because this line is going to stay. And let's go back down to this rectangular foot here. This needs to be fixed. We still keep these lines over here. Make sure this line is a bit curved. Still keep the almost straight line on the bottom. At the end of this straight line, go up and over. Curve down slightly and then go back to meet the end of his pant leg. That's his longest toe right there. And another little toe is showing beside that, so make a little smaller curve right here and end it about there. So that's that foot. And then this foot, bring the line down from his pants right here and darken that, in, that line in a little bit. And then you can bring this up and over, curve it. Right about here is where his middle toe begins, so bring that up and over to the top of the curve curve it back down, and then another third toe is right here. Bring that line right there, and up and over, and almost to the end, to the edge. Almost to the edge. And he has little claws, so we're going to put those in right here. Just little claws at the end of his toes, like so. And they show a little bit on these, so you can do just a little bit of work on that. So I'm going to darken this in. Follow this line back up, just like that. His pants have a little crease in them right about here. And then on this other pant leg, I'm going to darken this in. And right here, his pants are bunching up a little bit, so I'm going to do just little dips. Just following the line, 
making it look like they're bunching up right there and then just follow that line right back up and now for his tail same basic shape but you can just do little hairs just draw little hairs poking out from the tail like this just all the way around And so now you see the outline for his tail. Okay, we forgot to add claws to his hands, so I'm gonna put those at the end right here. And on this side, on his head over here, let's just outline that a bit more. And his hand is pretty big on this side, so we need to make it show just a little bit underneath there. You can just barely see a finger right there, a little claw. So there you go on that hand okay and let's make the shirt connect up here so align from the shirt to the tie this is the actual this is actually the the this is actually part of the tie coming into his collar and his shirt ends about right here where the collar comes up from and there's a little line underneath that original line and then comes back down and this whole part under here is shaded. Shaded. Just do some more outlining. Okay, and so now we can see Nick Wilde. All he needs is some details. Let's fill in this ear up here. And now we can erase all our guidance lines. So here is the finished product, and I'm sorry my light is causing a bit of a glare. So there you go there. You can see it a little bit better. And I'll show you the reference picture again. It is off from the reference picture, but I mean this looks like Nick Wilde, so you know, it's okay. But here's the reference picture. The head was a little bit bigger, and that's the, that's the major difference between them. But I hope this video really helped you. Hope you didn't get too confused. Um, show your pictures to me on Instagram. I want to see how they turned out. Just DM me and I'll give them a look. And feel free to request any more how to draw videos. And I will look at your comments and I might do some of them. So, yep. Give this video a big like and a comment. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.